Hi, this is David Blevins, and I'd like to show you how to set up Apache Tommy in Eclipse using the Tomcat web adapter. If you're familiar with Eclipse and using Tomcat in Eclipse, these would be the same steps that you're used to. So before we get started, I've downloaded the binaries in advance. So here we have Tommy, and there's Eclipse. And so you can see everything happening from the beginning. I'd like to extract them right now. So first, I'll start with Eclipse. Now this is the Java EE version of Eclipse. You can use the regular version of Eclipse. You just have to install the WTP tools. Okay, now we'll extract Apache Tommy. And then before we get started with Eclipse, I'd like to show you Tommy itself. So we'll just start up Tommy using the regular Tomcat start script. So as you can see, the Tomcat web console is here, and that's because we simply extract the Tomcat zip file, add the additional libraries required to complete the web profile, and then zip it back up again. Here we see the beginning of a Tommy console, which is very basic and something we'll be expanding in future releases. So now we'll just shut down Tommy, and again we're using the same shutdown script that comes with Tomcat. Okay, so let's open up Eclipse. So we'll tell Eclipse to create a workspace in our SuperBiz directory. Okay, so step number one is go to File, select New Dynamic Web Project. Now we can just choose any project name we want. And step number two is to click New Runtime, Apache Tomcat 7, and hit Next. Now we'll want to browse to where we extracted Tommy, select that directory, and click Open. And for fun, let's edit the name, put Tommy in there, so that we can remember this is the Java EE version of Tomcat. and then click Finish. Okay, so now we have a basic empty project set up with Tommy, and the only thing left to do at this point is to write some code. So go to Java Resources, right-click on Source, and select Servlet from the menu. We'll make up a package name, and for our servlet name, we'll call it Hello Servlet. Okay, now Eclipse will always generate this boilerplate code, which we don't need, so we're going to delete it. Now, in advance, I've copied some more useful boilerplate code into my clipboard, which I'm pasting now. So this is basic HTML writing servlet code, and we'll update the output so it says Hello Servlet. Now we'll save that file, and to run this, we just right-click on our servlet, select Run As, and Run on Server. The first time you do this, Eclipse will pop open this dialog box, and we just need to click Always Use This Server When Running This Project, then click Finish. Okay, now Eclipse is starting Tommy and deploying our servlet. There it is. It says, hello, servlet. And there's our very first deploy with Tommy. Now let's take a little detour and click on the console tab here at the bottom and just take a look at our startup time. So our startup time for Tommy and our application together was 684 milliseconds. So that's pretty fast. Now let's add an EJB to our project. So we'll go back to the source. We'll right-click, say New. Now select Other. And from this menu, go to the EJB section 
and pick Session Bean. Now click Next. We'll call our EJB Hello Bean and we'll leave it the default type of stateless. So here we see some more boilerplate code we can delete. Now we'll create a method in our EJB to return a string so we can see it invoked from our servlet. To get a reference to our EJB from our servlet, we simply make a private field of type hello bean and then we annotate it with Java X EJB and that will cause Tommy to inject a reference to the EJB into the servlet when the servlet starts. Now save the servlet and eventually Eclipse will notice that the project has changed and redeploy the application into Tommy. There it is, it's redeployed. And when we refresh our page we can see the output hello servlet and hello EJB. Now let's add some CDI functionality to our application. To do that we need to go to the web INF directory and create a beans XML file. The Beans XML file doesn't need to contain any content, but its presence in the application turns CDI on. CDI beans are plain old Java objects. So now we'll create a Java class and add it to our application. We'll call it Hello Pojo and click Finish. We'll create a similar method to return a fixed string. And you'll notice that our CDI bean is almost the same as our EJB, except it doesn't contain any annotations. Now go back to our servlet. And we'll add a similar private field of type hello pojo, named pojo and we'll annotate this field with Java X inject inject. And similar to Java X EJB, this will cause Tommy to inject a reference of our POJO into our servlet when the servlet starts. We save the servlet. Eclipse will then redeploy into Tommy. And now when we refresh our output, we see hello servlet, hello EJB, and hello CDI, just as we expected. So in a matter of minutes, we've unpacked a server, set up Eclipse, set up the server, and have started developing a Java EE application. So out of the box with Tommy, we get a lot more than just servlets, EJB, and CDI. We get also JPA, JTA, JSF, and Java Mail. And that's quite a lot to create really great applications. As we haven't done much in the way of real-world coding, once you get Tommy installed and set up, I recommend going to the website and checking out our examples. We have about 70 examples currently. Some of them are better documented than others. The ones with the asterisk are the ones to check out. And here we see a basic CDI example. This talks about the Beans XML we mentioned earlier, has sample code, and has a test case. All the examples have a test case, which is something we think is very important. At the bottom of every example are links to the APIs used. This makes it very easy to read up on the details about the various annotations. And if you need more than that, just go to the support section and you'll see we have mailing lists and forums. And if you'd like to keep updated on what's going on with Tommy, just follow us on Twitter or Facebook. Tweeting about Tommy is a great way to say thank you and help the project grow. We appreciate all your support and we hope you love developing with Tommy.